Welcome everybody to the first Star Wars Hunter Sunday Squad Battle Analysis. If you don't know what the Squad Battles are about, it is an event in which some of the best players in the game gather around to have some insane matches. This is like the closest you can get to ranked right now. So buckle up and enjoy! This is the first match, it was a hotball match. Uh, I was with Mr. Put, one speed and of, of course a bot, which we didn't have a lot of luck with that, but we still managed to do something in this match. Uh, the enemy team was quick draw with Sentinel, uh, they had a Nimara bot, I mean, they had a Nimara player. They had a AT Gaming playing with Slingshot and Juven the Seed playing with Sprocket. So it was a really hard match on paper. But we will see how it went out. The first thing I notice now is that uh, the enemy team is not having melee characters. Whereas we are having three melee characters and Skora. So this one is interesting because I think in this map melee characters are key because there is no not much room for there is not much room for range hunters to do much in this map uh, of course uh, uh, Skora did an amazing job on our team and of course the enemy team did also an amazing job even though they were starting with a disadvantage with the character selection I believe a better selection would have been on the enemy team. Uh, maybe yes, you could you could go with um, with Sentinel, but you should also go with Reef maybe instead of Imarabex, or of course Gross instead of Slingshot. We know that Gross is still the king of hotball, and we will see more about it in the latest matches but okay let's start the match yeah this is of, it let's go we have a lot of um of melee so i'll i'll go for a sprocket all right okay so as we see now uh we are taking the left side or right side you should try taking any of those because it is like the closest uh, way to go into the ball and into the center of course and I of course realized uh, the quick draw was going for Sentinel who is his best character so I just needed to focus him right now because I knew that uh, he will uh, go and try to stop Gross with, with his slow fire and his heavy damage heavy range damage and it is insane. They had Imaravex and Sentinel and Slingshot, which are heavy hitters at range. So at least I had to stop the most dangerous one here. I'm just I'm I'm the guy that's scoring, right? Yeah. 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 This is where I, I spotted Quick Draw, and I decided to go for him and take the ramp. Of course, it is always important to push the button for your teammates or yourself, so that you can take the ramp flank the enemy team and that is why in this map it is like uh, very important for you to have a melee character because you can close in the gaps really quickly as you can see here i i just went into his face you know what i'm going for oh. for quick oh, of course quick is sentinel <laughs> of course i went for the stun uh, i have the stun loaded uh, if, if you if you don't have the stun loaded he will just hit you before you can hit him more so this way um, you can stun him, I hit him with my overhead slam for 120 damage and then I repeat with um, I think a melee attack or I did a melee attack before He needs to focus me Oh no 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 no, okay I knew he was going for the melee attack so I just blocked and I have a, an ability that gives me a spare part for each 50 damage so i mean a loadout so i knew he was going for the melee and it was inevitable to get hit by that so if i ha i can have an spare part i will do it and then of course he will 
go and shoot me right there. Where is the police? But he was really smart. He, he is a very experienced player. So I, I was expecting him to shoot me, but of course he went for gross, which is what you really need to do in hotball. Go for the ball always. Uh, forget about like. Um, of course, if you if you go and kill anyone, there has to be like an objective, a further objective. Not only I went for quick draw because he was like. Uh, the most dangerous character, but I went for him because he was going to try to stop the hotball carrier in this case, which was um, Gross, one speed. Okay, where's the least random don't take this? So here, of course, I, I, I try to, to see what was happening behind me. Of course, it is not that easy to, to, to be looking at <laughs> everywhere in this game, but that is like the key and uh, that is why it is so important to flank. Slingshot did a great job here because he went straight to our backs, but of course we just we were just closing in on them because we were playing um, melee hunters. So I saw that uh, Scora was supporting Gross and Reeve was coming from the left. So I decided I'm slow to like him. crazy. To Sentinel and deal with him. Just be as annoying as I could be, so that Gross and Scora could go and and take the ball forward. I think they they went from there for the ramp. I couldn't know because I was looking the other way. And I and I also noticed that uh, Imara was there, and they both started focusing me. I'm glad they did that because they forgot completely about the ball and Gross and Scora, and that is actually a mistake. They should have forgotten about me, or at least uh, one of them should have gone for the ball and supporting the defense in the enemy team. <laughs> I completely missed my pull, I was trying to go for Sentinel, but of course uh, I messed up, so I was just trying to make time while blocking and going for the pickups. But uh, yeah, Sentinel was really intelligent there. He went for, for my flank, and uh, Imara also went for my other flank, so there was nowhere to go. And of course the missile just ended me, but it was too late. Uh, Imara, I think she was trying to take the ramp there, and Sentinel was trying to take the... Uh, she was he was trying to stop Gross, of course, with his uh, slowing fire, I think. Okay, you guys got it? And um, my score. They took me. Oh, of course, slingshot was also there. So, three people trying to stop me. Well, the ball carrier was alone. That was a, a really bad mistake from the enemy team, which we took advantage of to score the oh. first one. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, nice. They were so focused on me. Let's go. That's the idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now defend, oh, defend, defend. Laser fire on me. So this was overkill, uh, it wasn't necessary to pull her because Skora has got her uh, before, so it wasn't necessary, don't waste your skills like this, um, it is important to save your skills, for example in Hotball it is really really important that you save your pull ability because it is the only thing that will take the ball from the enemy team. Got okay. him, and of course uh, going with the overhead slam was, was such an overkill also. Quick, he's laser like slowing me like crap. And here, just uh, making myself annoying, trying to take the enemy's fire into me so that they forget about the score and gross. I don't know what Riff was doing, of course, she, she was a bot, so I really don't know what they were doing. What she was doing. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, here uh, Gross tried to, to go for Sentinel and, and he just used his melee attack. It was really good. Uh, Gross shouldn't do that to, to a group in, unless he has Trash, which I don't know if One Speed has had Trash as a loadout, which will stun the, all the enemy team. And of course, uh, Slingshot is such an easy target for Trash because of his low mobility when deploying his shield. I tried to go and have a 
a ton of damage on the enemy team there, but of course I missed completely. Uh, overhead slam is 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 an easy to miss ability, so it is better if you use it more wisely. So yeah, just focusing on Sentinel and trying uh, to avoid him of slowing uh, Gross or killing Skora. Oh, okay, I'm so dead. And again, slingshot going for me. Uh, every every uh, every one of the enemy team was going for me, and I didn't even have the ball, so uh, it was a mistake for them. Oh yeah, put it, throw it as far as you can. Right. Okay, okay, come in, come in. Okay. Coming in, coming in, coming in. Yeah, remember, I always take the ramp. Here, I I knew that Gross couldn't make it, so I decided to toss the ball as far as I could, so that those guys will take some time. Maybe someone will catch it. I'll just catch it back with my pull and take the focus away from Ross so that he can score. Nice, nice, nice. As you can see, I was going for a sprocket because of the healing, but it was even better because I went for Sentinel and he... and it just, he just dropped the ball. And it, it was such a great move over there. Um, of course, not intentional at all, but it, it was just a a great time in there. Got it in. Got it in. And of course, Gross the, took the second score, and it was just amazing. Uh, One Speed did an amazing job with Gross here. Uh, he went for the ball. He ignored uh, like he could have gone and killed uh, Sentinel from behind. He could have gone and killed um, Sprocket, but no. The most important thing in Hotball is scoring. That is the only way of winning. Doesn't matter if you kill the enemy team like six times, it doesn't matter. Guys. Yeah, this load of this pain out. Let's go. Like of course, it is also important to take the pressure onto the enemy team. If you are staying like in the enemy's goal, uh, be sure to take the pressure into them so that they won't be able to catch the ball backwards and Gross will be will have like um like all the space to, to manage the ball and go forward. So you're just making time for your friends to take the ball. I'm not even focusing on attacking them. Like I'm grabbing the ball and shooting it in his goal. Yeah, come over here. There is no escape. Hope I, I get the goal. Yeah, just applying the pressure forward and uh, being annoying. And of course, they sh they can ignore me right now because I am on their faces. If, if they go, for uh, cross right now, they might get pulled. They don't know. And of course, <laughs> that was such a funny moment because um, Sentinel just pushed my ultimate into 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 slingshot. I I I thought that was so funny. He just killed his teammate. But of course, it must be like what? It was it was it was a, a good move anyway. There we go. There we go. He got, um. He needed to stop that gross and he decided to let Slingshot deal with my ultimate. Uh, he didn't, of course, it was in his face, it was, there was no escape. And he used his ultimate wisely there, but of course I was already recovered from that, ma that, that battle and was ready to attack him from behind. This. That was such a great ultimate by the scorer, by, by the way, uh, just uh, in the nick of time. Huge. Oh, of course. No wonder why we didn't score there. Uh, Reef took the ball. Uh, she was a bot, and she will have a score, but she she just uh, need to be in the face of the goal just to drop the ball there. No, so, that was yeah, there was nothing we could do. Close. Ah, oh, by the way, nice ultimate by Juban there because it was a critical moment. If the if we managed to score there. It, it, it will be over. It, that was the last score for the win, so he managed to stop that. That was a great move using his ultimate there. Oh, wait, wait, still the score. Come on, come on, you Thank got you. it. 
That was so slow! Okay. Yeah, so now he was trying again. Uh, Gross was trying again. He grabbed the ball. He was trying so hard to finish this match. Great job, one speed, but this time the enemy got the best, the best of us. Okay, I got it, I got it. I am on defense right now. So, what to do this time? If I went over there, I jumped the, the pad, I will be against four enemies and I will get instantly killed. Or at least uh, I will take one with me, but that's it. So that will be like a really bad decision. As you can see, Reef is a bot and she is just programmed to charge. So she did what I didn't need it to do and she <laughs> died instantly. Nice. Stay here, stay, he stay in defense. Of course, I decided to hold back, uh, stay on the defensive. If they manage to jump on the on the pad, I'll just grab the one with the ball. They are taking the ramp, for sure. Yeah, as you can see, she died in instantly. Yeah, I'm I'm in the goal as well. So they had a decision here. It, either either they jumped on the pad or they went and took the long road around. What I should have done in this situation, I don't know what happened in, in, in their team, but uh, the idea was that maybe Slingshot will, will charge forward and distract us so that Sentinel could take the ramp and go into the goal safely. But Slingshot uh, decided to go alone to, the, to our right. So I'm defending. So yeah, he he was trying to to take like uh, the the most distance from me, but of course it was there was no escape from my pool. I I was ready for that. Hi, Craig. Oh, that is done. And he died instantly, and we could uh, now uh, counterattack. Let's there we go. go. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The enemy team was disorganized, confused. Hey, it is dead. You got Let's it. Go. go. And yeah, the, the chaos, man, the chaos. They they just didn't know what to do. I was just killing them from behind. Imara should have gone for the defense. Should have stayed on the defense, but uh, they they should have pulled back immediately. Okay, I have a quick draw on me. <laughs> go go go! Take the. And so, of course, Sprocket did, but uh, he's not the fastest character. Left, take the left. I got you. I got you covered. So yeah, I decided to pull against Sentinel because he's the only one who can stop Gross right now. Uh, he will have his slowing ability, he will have his melee ability, his high damage. So he was the main target here. And yeah, he did the intelligent thing, of, of course. As expected of, of quick draw, uh, he just um, ignored me and go for the ball, but still he was too late. I got it, there I got we it. go, beautiful, go. nice teamwork there. Drop. <laughs> and yeah, that was it for this match. Uh, we got the best of them with, uh, of course, um, no one is expecting what will happen in these matches, so we could have. We could have lost, we could have won, uh, I mean, it is just absolute uh, chaos and testing of loadouts. And they did an amazing job with what they have. So, this is the second match, uh, one speed went with, um, with Imara, I went with Gross. This time it was an escort mode attack on the Survivor Salvage, which is my favorite match. And um, we had uh, Nutoni. A lot 21 Nutuni, which was amazing because he he worked great with Gross and with Sprocket as they're all like area damage characters mostly or they, they heal in an area or, or that kind of stuff and uh, Mr. Pooh was healing again with Sprocket uh, one speed was with Imara so he could pick on on, on, on important targets such as uh, Juban's uh, um, Skora and uh, 80's um, Sprocket of course Quickdraw was again the most uh, important target to deal with 
and I think I selected the right character so I was on his face they had a uh, support uh, by uh, J3DI which was not that useful for them and of course they um, didn't meant to select two healers that time it could have done interestingly if, if J3DI was more present but uh, no it didn't work this time for them and we will see what happened <laughs> they kidding <laughs> oh, they are doing it <laughs> okay I'm I, going to I stun them this. I will take so I decided to go and not take the ultimate pickup I think or did I? no okay so I left uh, the ultimate pickup for uh, Imara because she can deal more damage safely my ultimate is not that um, you know, it's not that safe to use. It might get cancelled by J3DI easily or or uh, any stun. So of course, I spotted Quick Drone. I decided to go with the stun and to make take him as far as possible from the payload because he will go for Imara and for Sprocket. Okay, you deal with him. As you can see, uh, one speed told me to manage him, and it was it was a good decision because, of course, um, they could now deal with the other characters alone, and they wouldn't have her their best support to to be with them. And I I went for the I went for the healing here, just to stop him, but of course he managed to get it anyway. Uh, we're just going for the payload but there was not much he could do and also also the, the he wasn't supported um Skora should have been uh, near him like annoying me and healing him but she wasn't she wasn't there she was just trying to heal somebody else maybe sprocket i don't know so yeah Skora should be like uh Supporting the the most important character in the in, in, in her team, mostly. Here, of course, quick draw again. He I don't know why he didn't take the high ground against me, because it was really easy just to stun him and, and pull them pull him away. And of course, Sprocket was there also, and I managed to push them both. Trash is so amazing, and of course, followed by by a, an overhead slam from Gross. And complete chaos. Even if Scora comes to support, uh, it is just too late. Uh, her her team is compromised. Just there by, we go. Just by a single gross. Stay with the payload. Leave them, leave them in the back. And of course, uh, they are wounded. They are far away, so it is not worth killing them, and so that they respond closer with full health. Leave them in the back. Leave them in the back. They can do shit. Yeah. I prefer, I, I prefer them in the back than actually... But of course, o always watching out for them. I don't know how uh, Quidro managed to be here so quickly, but I think he got killed and he respawned, of course. Uh, he was back into the... stopping the payload. He was trying to stop us from, from reaching the, um, the checkpoint, which is so important in these maps, in this game mode. But of course he got destroyed, he was just against so many people there. And his team was not supporting him at all. There is he is again, spawning so quickly this time. And again uh, he gets stunned and uh, slowed and killed. There was not nothing he could do, I mean... It was not the right choice anyway against uh, a, a gross with trash. But of course... We don't know what we are up against. It is just uh, so difficult. And here it is so important to save your uh, stunning moves in, in this uh, part of the escort map because this is the part when the enemy will start having his ultimates, mostly. Maybe if, if they didn't, of course, uh, use them before like uh, of course a healer will have his ultimates before but this 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 part is key because you are uphill you are at a key point in this map 
you have the disadvantage here um, and you should use any advantage you have against the enemy and if they manage to take an ultimate here mostly it is done because it is a long way still into the into the goal so here uh, he was using his ultimate very wisely but of course stone wins against that ultimate that is why even if it is such a high damage ultimate it is not uh, like really good so he he was dealt with and now uh, i was just uh, following him everywhere because i i knew that the enemy team was not uh, doing anything at all like they were just uh, running around trying to do something work but they, they were just in chaos they didn't know what how to deal with this of course that that, that was an important ultimate by juban there but still i got him i got quick oh no that here was so stupid i mean why do i waste my ultimate on a turret which was almost dead that was overkill, stupid, uh, a bad decision. And if they managed to recover further in the map, that would have been so useful. Uh, I mean, that ultimate from Grass. In the in the in the narrow part here, it is so good because it can hit the enemy twice or, or three times. So just following, sending a slingshot here, uh, having him as far away from the payload as possible. Staying behind the payload to to not take so much range damage. Being the tank in the enemy team, in the in, in our team. Yep, they were trying so hard at that point, and J3DI just being so late to the action, so not useful to his team. So guys, if you're going to the bathroom, man, don't play. Or at least play one match while you're pooping. I don't care, but. Don't abandon your, your, your team. If you are not going to play, don't play. But if you are going to play, be there. Or at least try to. That Jury 3 di of course, did an, a, a, a really bad job at supporting his teammates. He was there sometimes, sometimes he wasn't. So there we go, another win for us. Um, glad we made it. And it was a perfect result screen here, because, um, let's see, yeah, tank, of course, what you, what you should do, mostly is tank, healer, stay and heal your team, uh, ranged, do your best to deal as much damage as possible, and, of course, someone has to stay with the payload and push. Because if you don't take the payload to the other side, you will lose. So you're as much as important as the other members of the team. It was a great teamwork here, even though the enemy was in chaos this time. So here, um, of course, we went with two tanks. That was such a bad decision, but the random guy decided it was smart. Um, I went with J3DI uh, expecting uh, like um, like I, I really think he's so important in hotball because he can take the ball away from the enemy team uh, at a really wrong, long range he can stun the enemy he can be annoying uh, as you as you saw in the in the match before but this time uh, Kitty Boy was on our team. He's such an insane player. Uh, he was going for Gross. Uh, he should have gone maybe with his Slingshot. I think he he's so much better with that. Uh, maybe his Slingshot should have gone with uh, Imara so that he could deal with Scora. Or maybe I should have gone with Reef so that I could deal with the Scora because I couldn't do anything against the Scora. She was just healing left and right without anyone like, like bothering her at all. Uh, and, and they had a support from a Reef. Uh, Parallel was on the enemy team with uh, Imar Vex, which is really good on this map. And of course Gross, which was the key element in this match. I'll focus, I'll focus quick draw. Don't worry about it, I'll focus him. I won't let him heal. 
You yeah, stay okay. with, stay with, stay with Gross, AT, okay? So same thing, I went to the left side, it was closer to the goal. I tried to go and uh, take the enemy from the back. Of course, I was stupidly stupidly stuck here. I was trying to get Skora from healing um, Gross. Um, that was such a stupid move. So I tried to um, go forward here, try to be annoying, take the damage into me because I knew Gross was struggling against the other Gross and Reef. And of course, I don't know what happened here, but I'm glad they dropped the ball. Wait, let's check it out again. And he was like, crap, they got the ball. Somehow he dropped the ball. I don't know how. Oh, he was pushing, okay. Yeah, that was a bad decision from Yuvan. Of course, Skora tried to get the ball, but he got born. She got born, and we were lucky that time. Um, I, I, I didn't mean to block there. It was another stupid decision by me. It was interesting that I went for Imara there, so they had no range support. And of course, I dealt also with uh, with Reef. I was trying to block Ross from coming in. It was a bad decision also. He was coming in anyway, I tried to pull him, but here is the key moment. That invulnerable was um, unexpected for me. Like, you cannot stun an invulnerable Gross. You can slow him before he, 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 he becomes invulnerable, but after that, it's just impossible. So, it was, of course, uh, the timing with uh, Juvan, uh, he was just healing. I don't know if he, he planned to not get pulled here, but if he did, it was an amazing move to use his invulnerability so that he doesn't get pulled, but after Who's this... playing the nothing. cross? Wow. Oh no, oh, I took the thing! Go! Somehow, um, Polar took the ball away. Go, 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 go! I didn't mean to. Oh, of course. He oh, go, stunned. come down, I will heal you. I don't know how, actually. Wait, how did I go and focus ball? Polar did an what? amazing job there. Something okay, this is so confusing right now. I feel good, bro. Holy shit. shit. Uh, I did something. What the hell? Um, I don't know how I didn't. Zayna, which was really I don't know how he got the ball. She was doing an amazing job. Oh, he got the balls. Oh, this, this, this bug, man. This bug is so annoying still. Like, you get stuck after pulling someone. So, of course, this got me killed. Mostly. Yeah, it got me killed. It, it was so stupid. Saina tried to save me, but it got, of course it was too late. And that doesn't help. That doesn't help in, in this situation. And here, same thing. I tried to pull him. He went for the invulnerability, which was so smart. Screw you, man. <laughs> that was so good. That was so good. I was I, I didn't know what to do at this point. Coming in from behind. Yeah, we need like a maybe like a range. Yeah, still I, I was trying to stop a, a scorer from scoring from uh, healing. Oh but I'm coming. I'm gonna do that thing. I did the thing. Still I, I was so I was so in chaos that I just uh, pressed the block button without like thinking before it. Okay, go, go, go. So right here, I was supporting Gross. Go, 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 go. Keep going, keep going. The right thing to do. And of course, this was such an important move by Reef. Even if he's, she was a bot, she was so annoying. So she just canceled my ultimate there. Which will have been like... A it was. Be, it would have been like our first score. It would have turned the tide in, the, in here. So it sucks so much. Oh, and I cancelled uh, Gross, um, Gross ultimate there, but it was too late. They had the ball, and Riv was was on me. She was so annoying. Yeah, she did an amazing job even for a bot. I was right there, man. That Reef is the most annoying. I am going to say that. 
right here again I tried to pull him he was invulnerable such bad timing there you go got this guy oh I, I went for the for 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 Imar instead of course and that was such a great defense but by uh, polar by kitty boy trying to get uh, that ball forward but of course no support uh, it's, um, Reef being so annoying still. How is he invulnerable all the time? Like, how the fuck am I supposed to deal? Right here, it was there was nothing we could do here. We got uh, altered by Imara, and that was it. Two scores down. So I was trying to, we were trying like like to change strategies here, but. Like of course, in the middle of a match, it is really, really hard. It's really an interesting loadout for Gross. He hasn't died once. Uh, I, I mean, uh, uh, yeah. So I decided to go for Gross instead, directly. That's that, and also they have water cone. And of course, I, I, I got stunned still. It, this sucks because I could have done so much damage to Gross. What to do, bro? There is here. Like, uh, yeah, I stunned him. But I also got stunned because of the stupid box, so. I couldn't do anything, I just got shot and uh, he managed to escape. And I of course block again, stupidly. And I was trying to focus him so much by then, but it was already too late. I tried to grab Skora here, but of course she she was, she was had uh, her ability to escape, so that's why I decided uh, it was a really bad decision to go for J3DI in here because there was nothing I could do like to support my team. I mean, I could do a lot of damage, I did, but uh, that was it. I could have dealt with Skora, with Reef, I could have dealt with Imara, I could have used my ultimate against Gross. But yeah, we were trying to make a, a last push here with, uh, with the support of Zayna. But there, there was so much happening right now, and I went again for the stupid block, which I don't know why I did. And of course, I was just trying to stop Gross. Again, I, I, I finally killed him, but there was not much we could do. Nice job by, Gro by Gross there. Nice defense with his ultimate. 20 seconds to go there. Go, 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 go. I was just telling everyone, push, 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 push. God damn it, that ultimate. Another ultimate by Imara. No, it's the Imara was the Oh, ultimate. and that ultimate was was it for us. I mean, there was not nothing we could do there uh, against that ultimate. Fuck, I'm dead, dude. My, my... He grabbed the ball. I tried to grab him back. Settings are fucked up. What? It was already too late. What's going on? Wait. Yeah. Uh... I mean, six seconds What wasn't enough. Toggle, hold, double tap. But target locked. Yo, yo. So great job, guys! That was an, another amazing match. Uh, as you can see, there is nothing that we expect. Many things can happen. I thought uh, J D I was a good choice for this. He wasn't. Um, Slingshot did a great job at tanking. Apparently, I didn't see him, but uh, of course, most damage done. Yeah, e even if we did such an amazing job because I did the most damage I mean I did the second most damage Kitty Boy did an amazing incredible job with uh, almost 3000 damage with Cross AAT was there healing him uh, always um, um, and the other guy was tanking a lot of damage but it was just not the right choice of characters, even if we played so good. Honestly, we scored. We should have scored two times. It's just the ball teleport behind me. I don't. I don't know how a tele ball can teleport behind me when I'm throwing in front of me. As well. Yeah, that sucks, man. That that is a That's bug that they need to fix. We even deal a lot of damage. Oh my god, I got crashed. I got crushed. Okay, I'll, I will invite you again. That was fun still. That was fun. Okay, so next match, oh, it was an escort map. Another escort map in which we were stopping the payload. This time Kitty Boy went for Sprocket. Uh, I went for Slingshot, which is one of my best characters. Even if 
he doesn't have uh, the best win rate but that is it man because I, I have went through hell with slingshot I am I think really good with him so I really recommend going solo queue if you really want to get good in the game not going with level 50s in your team which will just crush the enemy team so we had a support bot uh, which was playing sentinel and AAT was playing J3DI he did an amazing job of course Kitty Boy did an outstanding job of course uh, the enemy team were having Animara which were was worrying me because she might focus me and Kitty Boy at range uh, one speed which is an amazing sprocket he's maybe his best best character Yashu was going with um, Utani which was really scary because Utani we know he is kind of uh, overpowered right now but maybe not because he was the only one who picked him in these in these matches uh, Mr. Put was going with Sentinel which was also really scary because of his ultimate and his insane damage but he couldn't of course catch me and you will see because they have a level 27 Imara I'm going for I'm going to to charge the enemy team okay? 27? How? I thought the max level for a hunter was 25 am I wrong? No, no, no. It's no. I decided to go straight into the enemy team just to stop the payload, be annoying, and let my teammates grab uh, every ultimate pickup. Okay, level, yeah, level. Like, uh, Which, of course, uh, Slingshot's ultimate is not that good. I prefer for them to use their ultimates, like uh, so even Sprocket's ultimate is more reliable. On their team. Focus, guys, focus. Oh, oh, okay. So I just saw Imara Vex coming in from the left. She, I would have been dead if I went straight, so I decided to go for the plant. Okay. I was confused for a bit. Well, I thought they were God damn it, that in my health was going so quickly down. Imara is good. We are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> we are fucked. Yeah. There we go. Just annoying the enemy team from behind. That is the key with Slingshot. He's a tank, but he shouldn't be always in the front. He has the ability, he has a really high mobility, so for him it's really easy to, to just flank the enemy and be annoying and deal really high damage. Even girls knows that we are fucked. Yeah, we have okay, a... I um, so yeah, I was, I, I was killing here and retreating, having my heals. And as you can see, we completely melted the enemy team. There was nothing to do, they were surrounded. Just taking the flank again. Oh, I was trying to stop uh, Utani there. Imara got the best of me, and of course, flanked. A flanked sprocket is is gone. I mean, he could jump uh, uh, every day, but he there is nothing he could do. So yeah, he was just running around, running around, trying to be annoying, trying to go for sprocket mainly, so that he can be like stressed out, like not think really, uh, put his turrets in 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 places that. He shouldn't. Yeah, there was nothing he could do. Even if he once beat is such a great sprocket, there was nothing he could do. He was just surrounded. He was still trying to hold damage. As you can see, he was just playing the turret really far behind. She he they they, they should have gone still for, for the high ground. It was just so so important there. I mean to the left of us that high ground they didn't win from behind they had no one who could uh, flank us maybe Utoni. I tried to stop them over there it was a really stupid decision to waste my ultimate there yeah as you can see I got melted by uh, sentinel's ultimate ah here this is so annoying when, it meets in, when the game minimizes of course it didn't happen at a really bad time so I'm glad Oh, here just tanking Imara's ultimate and going in for the flank. Of course, Sentinel is key that you flank Sentinel. That is the way of defeating him, like stressing him out. Like, yeah, if, if he feels that he's having damage from behind, he will not be able to focus on, on the on the front. So yeah. 
they were trying really hard, but of course, uh, our Sentinel and our J3DI were doing an amazing job there. And of course, here, the key to, to this is to push. Don't let them get near the payload when it is an overtime, because if they get to the checkpoint, it is over. The timer will reset, they will have uh, two minutes or so to get the payload to the other side. That was it, victory for us. That was a great teamwork there. They all did an amazing job, even the bot. I mean, we we have to congratulate him also. <laughs> when they are useful, they are useful. As you can see, he did uh, a lot of damage also. And I was taking heavy damage there. I was being annoying. Uh, they were they were shooting at me, trying to knock me down. But of course, they couldn't. I just went into the healing stations, and that was it. Uh, Kitty Boy did an amazing job healing. Uh, I think he was healing uh, Joy 3 di Joy 3 di was staying the payload, uh, killing key parts of the enemy team. Uh, they all did an amazing job there. And the enemy team also did an amazing job, but they they didn't have melee support, I think, and that was a really bad decision there. Yep. They were all ranged characters trying to stay near a payload with J3DI. It was, it isn't just a, a really good decision. They they had to go for, uh, of course. I mean, the randoms they just go random. But Imara should have been Reef instead, maybe, or J3DI and take the high ground, uh, pull uh, Sprocket, and just kill Sprocket. Imagine if Sprocket was dead. I, uh, Kitty Boy's Sprocket was dead. There was not much they could do. We could do. I mean, I was staying, being annoying, but just staying the payload against uh, Sentinel uh, and Sprocket will have been my doom. That's the important thing of having a balanced team here. Just, just, you should have. They, di they didn't have a tank either. They should have gone with Gross, maybe. So you should have a tank. You should, ha you should have uh, a melee hunter and a damage dealer uh, in range and a healer, of course. In my opinion so let's go for the last match here which was a control match on my favorite control map which is the pod racer map i went with my with my best uh, hunter uh which is sane because i knew this was going to be insane because i needed to like we needed to defeat quick draw steam quick draw and parallel while, while doing such a great job with juban and they needed to be stopped so i went with sane Kitty Boy went with Sentinel, which I don't he, I don't think he, a Sentinel is his best character, but he did such an amazing job in this match. AT went for J3DI, which I think is one of his best characters. It was an insanely good idea. And of course Gross, I think it was a bot, but Gross bot is really useful because he just stays there, there and take damage. And that is what Adros should do, take damage. So let's go. P9, take damage, that is what Podcross do. Fun. Okay. Yeah, okay, you take the the, um, the ultimate pickups. Yeah. Let's go together. I wonder why no one picks Utoni. Like, you think he's supposed to be so overpowered? <laughs> Okay, so right here I, 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 I see that uh, Gross was approaching at me and of course taking distance for, with, against Gross because he will try to push me into a wall. Uh, of course he pushed me towards him but there is a low level, I mean it doesn't make it much damage, not that much like to be scary so I decided to roll back and heal and of course Gross was done for. Uh, right here I stayed with J3DI and Sentinel and I was like crap, I am so dead. Uh, I should have gone for the heal, I instead tried to roll behind Sentinel, which was a bad idea because I got killed before. <laughs> yeah. I was worried a little bit here, but uh, our guys got the point. They did an amazing job there. I was just trying to support Kitty Boy here. 
that is so important like that every bomb is so important because it controls parts of the map as you can see here I dropped that bomb over there and of course the enemy tends to avoid that bomb because if they stay there they will take 120 damage which is insane so they need to flee and if quick draw flees this way he will be dead so it, he decided to go the other way and of course he was also dead there was no escape careful with the polarizers this was just absolute chaos of course yeah you're scared i'm coming and yeah juvan uh, was trying to focus uh, the other guys but he didn't knew i was behind him you're so scared He's running, stop running! Oh, this was key. This was key because... As you can see, Juan tried to push... Um, he was trying to push... Uh, Sentinel into the pod racers. But, of course, um, Polar being Polar, he, he knows that. He's running, stop running! And uh, Juan got... It's re it's treatment instead. Nice! That was beautiful. Let's go. That was a really good move by Polar. Careful with quick. No, you're not. So yeah, Gross couldn't do anything. He will just get killed in the middle of such a happy fire. Yeah, <laughs> I just pulled him midair. That was the most epic thing I did. And I was telling. Um, Oh, that oh, shot, that man! Not, <laughs> not the time. Wait. Right in the head. I love how. Oh, yeah, I, I was worried about them like overstretching, like taking the bait from the Amarabix. and I was just staying here in the payload alone. The little. But of course, it was a good idea to go for Imarabex, uh close quarters because otherwise you will have like be free to shoot uh, the enemies from far away. Like the core, hey, come to the point. The so I decided to just deal with uh, Gross alone. His head, uh, like the, the Jedi had, braid. Uh, I need your help. Um, AAT, which was so important. Here, uh, right. I just know. I mean, I, I don't know. Boom! You see, that bomb is so insane. How much damage did I deal that? Like over uh, almost 300 damage there, along with one single attack. So. The bomb is so important. Uh, uh, I know some people prefer a sticky bomb, but look at this. And this wasn't against bots. This was against real players who are insanely good ones. So think about it. Always know that, but... All think. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Don't worry. Over here, uh, there was an immediate I counter love how... by, by Maravex after this with her ultimate, which was a really good idea, but we were taking cover, of course. So the bomb again, boom, completely destroyed the enemy team. And here I decided to dodge the enemy's uh, ultimate and use my ultimate as a defensive measure, which is how you need to use Sena's ultimate. You don't need to waste it, like having two ultimates at the same time or just uh, wasting it in the air. This is a defensive ultimate. It can help your teammates take an ultimate to their faces. It just gives them so much uh, HP and time to, to, to run away. Or to make decisions more clearly. So yeah, here we have... Uh, we are around 60% now. The enemy team, there is nothing we can, he, they can do right now, maybe. But we will see. Stay, stay here, stay oh, here. Please. Don't, don't, don't bait him. Uh, no, 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 I see. Yes, I was telling, telling Kitty Boy not to go for the Dimara, and I was worried that I will get surrounded in the in the center and they will come to the point. But it was a good decision by Kitty Boy there, dealing with Dimara close range. Oh, okay, okay. Because of course, our our Gross did an amazing job. He was staying in the in the in the control point, just being Gross. Because if I kill him, then all other spawns are bad. Careful, uh, careful, careful. Um, yeah, I'm fine. He dealt with uh, Imara and... Oh, what happened? Oh, okay. Um, the recording was, mess was messed up here. Oh, okay, no. It's better now. 
So hit that with a Dimara. Oh, the Dimara was alive, nice. But we had our ultimate, it was almost done. I dropped my bomb again in the center of the action. There we go. Boom. Dead. And I managed to heal everyone in our team right here. Sainas bomb. Sainas Bacta bomb has a huge range. That is why it is also important to go for intensive. Because of the range. If I was using flying, I would have I'd be able to heal one, maybe two. But I managed to heal all my my teammates around me. And me, of course. And also give them three seconds of um, reduced damage. So intensive is so such a key a key part of, of Sena. Flying sucks. Got someone. Yeah, or gross is right now, of course. All He's right. kicking butts. Let's go. So yeah, I decided to go and heal Gross. He did an amazing job. I was supporting him but I should have saved that heal for afterwards because players are more important than bots in this game get healed my good friend I wish you could, like, so table, like, there we ground. go even if I was supporting J3DI Gross is such an amazing beast that he killed him anyway <laughs> I kind of wanna no, no, sorry no, I had no, no heals no, no. I had no heals <laughs> yeah I tried to heal him but I was too late you can't do a team but that was it. Game. There was no. no I'm glad you can't. Oh, let's that go! Was it. Beautiful for us. Great job, guys. And that was the last that match. Was so uh, amazing. Nice, nice, I hope nice. you enjoyed this analysis. By the way, I was I was saying, you know like how it, in Star comment. Wars the Padawans they have um, like little brains. Anything you want. Uh, tell me about your strategies. What you have, what you should have done in this situation. What you, what we shouldn't have done. Uh, I I want to hear your thoughts in over, over this. Okay. So let me know in the comments. This is getting here. See you around for more SSB in the future.